doing? Um, there seems to be a little bit of delay today on um, the materials going on the website. So I'll have a little chit chat with you. And if they're still not there, I'll just talk you through the components and hopefully they'll be there at some point. I'm going to be making with you some gorgeous little bracelets today. But when the kits do go live, you should have enough to make four bracelets. So if you wanted to, you could make a necklace instead. Um, I've made a little pair of earrings. In fact, I've decided this whole outfit on these components. So I'm going to wear the earrings. I'll probably make a bracelet. Well, I will make a bracelet because that's what we're meant to be doing. And then I might even make a little necklace so I've got a full set. <laughs> How are you all doing? What are you up to? Where are you watching from? Have you had a nice week? It's Friday again. Do you know, I've been so out of sync with my days this week, which I think may have happened at the warehouse. They forgot about me. You're still here, so me and you will just play. Um, but I've been so out of sync with my days. I thought I've been a day ahead. So to me, I think it's Saturday today. Uh, yesterday was definitely Friday, but it's not. It's Friday today, isn't it? Is it? How are you doing? It should be Friday the 12th of May. Drop me a comment. Where are you watching from? What's the weather doing? Why has my camera changed direction? It's going to be one of those days, isn't it, today? Just bear with me. Do apologise. Um, yeah, I can see your comment, Lucy. I have popped a little message across to the group. Let me just fix my phone because for some very unusual reason, my camera's just flipped around and there's a big delay on it now. And you want to see what we're making when we finally get around to doing it. I'll faff with that in a minute. Gosh, there's a delay. My hands are still there, but they're not. Just have a minute. Let's have a breathe. Okay. How are you? <laughs> good morning, Rachel. Just good morning on this bright, sunny day. It's it's hit and miss here. It's quite bright. I've drawn the curtain across just in case. We don't want shadows on the mat when the mat's decided to do what it's doing. Oh, I hope that kicks in. Um, good morning to Carol. She says, hi all. Hello to Elaine. She says, good morning, Natalie and everybody. Good morning, my lovely Lucy. Thank you for that message. Um, I have sent one across, so hopefully there's just a slight delay and everyone's okay and everything's good. Good morning to Camille. She says, good morning, Natalie. How are you all this week? Hope you're all well. Well, you, you can see how my day is going so far, Camille, but the week's been fine. Good morning to Janice. She says, good morning, Natalie and all. Hello, Phoenix Creations from Karen and Meg. Back at you, my lovely. How's Meg doing today? Meg's the sweetest little doggy. Um, Karen sends me lovely little pictures and um, I love seeing pictures of your pets as well as you make. So if, you, if you've got, I don't know, maybe you've got a lovely dog or a chicken or something that can model the jewellery for you, send me pictures. Good morning, Janet. She says, good morning, Natalie from Perthshire in Scotland. Um, good morning to David. He says, good morning, Natalie. Yes, I thought the same with the website and the materials. The weather is wet and foul where you are. You're frinting, aren't you, David? Well, Maybe we're just keeping you in suspense. I'm not going to be able to tell you how much the kits are, but as far as I'm aware, you can make four bracelets, but as I say, you can make a necklace. If they're not there, I'm just going to talk to you about the components and hopefully they'll be there soon. Um, Janice says it's overcast in Sudbury. Good morning to Mina. Mina's been a busy bee, as always, making lovely little bracelets. Good morning to Pauline. She says, good morning, Natalie and all. Um, great to see you all. It's lovely to see you too, Pauline. Thank you so much for being with me this morning. Anna says, good morning, everybody, from a dull look in Perth. It looks like rain is due. It's meant to be lovely tomorrow. Fingers crossed. I even head to the beach. I might go to Wales or something. I've got loads to be doing, but you've got to take the moments with your family and your friends and enjoy the little minutes, haven't you? So Saturday, I think we could all do with a fun day out. Good morning, Robin. She says, good morning, Lady Natalie, um, and hello to all. Marcy is in as well. She's in, I'm not going to be able to pronounce this, Weisbaden in Germany. Guten Tag, how are you doing? Um, good morning. Is it good morning if it's the morning? If it is the morning, um, if it's afternoon. Good, good, guten Abend, I think. Oh, might not be right. Good morning to Kim. Good morning, everybody, she says. Um, yeah, David says, and this is Frinton busy making a tango bracelet super duo and 
mini duos. Oh, what colours are you going for, David? Um, good morning from New Jersey to Donna. Hello to Joanne. She says, good morning, Natalie and everyone. It's overcast in the Midlands and she's been loving the thunderstorms over the last few days. We've not had thunder, but it absolutely bounced down on Wednesday. You could have gone swimming in the puddles. It wasn't for very long, but oh, I've not seen rain like it for ages. Um, oh, of course, Lucy. Um, Lucy says, I think Simon is off this week. It's going to go up soon. Thanks very much. Yeah, he's actually gone. It's, mm, I could be getting this wrong. If it's this week, I think he's going. Um, he's going Amsterdam and he's going Germany and he's going to do some lovely little... Um, theme parks and things like that. I think it's this week. I'm hoping he's having a lovely time if it if it is this week. Marcia, he might he might be by yours. I don't know where he's going, but he, he did say he was going to Germany. Um, good morning to Phoenix Creations. Again, she says the ha is in cool and breeze here in Glen Roads. Trina's in. Hello to Trina. How are you doing? She says, good morning, sweet Natalie. Hope you're okay. I'm all right. I'm doing okay. I'm here. I'm not in Germany, which is fine because, you know, some of you are. So we get to we get to do this, don't we? And if if the products go alive on the website, then that's great. <laughs> Good morning to Elaine. Um, our Phoenix says Meg is fast asleep despite her cage being open. She's not realised yet. Go and open a packet. I'm sure she'll be there if she is the rustling. Good morning to Julie. She says, good morning, everybody from Wolverhampton. Thanks, David. It's up on the website. Lucy says she can see them now. Diane's giving me the price. Uh, Mina's saying kits are on the website, but please scroll down. Okay, thank you so much. I'll take you over there now. Hello to Linda. She says, good morning, lovely Natalie. My camera keeps flipping around. What are you doing? So... I have my camera on a stand and obviously it shows you my hands and I turn it landscape so you can see all my hands and every now and again it just keeps, do you know what, this is what happens on a Monday, it's not Monday today, why are, why are the gremlins out? Anyway, where was I? Good morning to Linda, she says good morning Natalie and fellow beaders, she can't stop long she's got an eye appointment. Right, I'll get a move on anyway, Linda, but you're going to watch later. Good morning to Sue. Um, she's in North Devon. She's not made a live for ages, she says. So welcome, Sue. Where have you been? What have you been doing? I hope you're well. Good morning to lovely Diane. She says it's windy here. Marcy is in as well. She says Guten Morgen is correct. Brilliant. OK, got that right. It's been a long time since I've done any German. But whenever I go anywhere, I always like to think I'm fluent and I'm clearly not. I remembered like the odd little word and the odd little phrases, but I'd love to speak more languages, but I'm digressing again anyway. Uh, good morning to Debbie. She says it started raining here. Uh, Pauline's in as well. She says good morning. Uh, Camille's not doing anything. Well, hopefully you'll make these. Um, <laughs> I'm saying hello to Angela. Um, I know I haven't got time to restart the phone though, have I? It's it's we'll just we'll just go with it and see what happens. Um, no, I don't have an iPhone, Lucy. I've got an Android. Um, it, it was working. It's been working all morning. I've been raring to go for ages. Um, right. Anyway, let's take you over to the website. <laughs> Lucy says I struggle with English, let alone any other language. It'd be lovely to be able to speak lots of languages though, wouldn't it? Wouldn't it? Um, even sign language because that's a bit. Well, it's not really universal because I'm chatting away. Let's go over to the website. <laughs> oh, I need to have a minute today. I'm just going to have a cup of coffee in a sec and just breathe. Anyway, totallybeads.co.uk is where you're going to find, hopefully, our kits today. Head over to the video tutorial section. You can find it right at the top here. And if you scroll down, keep scrolling. There they are. We're in Xena bracelets today. Maybe they were there. Maybe I just didn't spot them because they weren't at the top. Apparently, we've already got out of stock on the green and gold, which is probably because I'm wearing these earrings, isn't it, in the green and gold? Um, Lucy, if you don't mind, I know you're dead busy. Um, can someone give a little nudge maybe in the handmade um, 
chat, live chat, or if we can't get in touch with the warehouse and see if somebody can kind of update the stock on them. If not, they might be back soon. They are $10.99 for your kit. I'm pretty sure it makes four. And you've got these gorgeous bracelets today. So we've got an antique gold, we've got a champagne, we've got a green gold, and we've got a jack grey. They're very, very sparkly and they're really simple to do. You've got a beautiful toggle clasp with these. I'm using gorgeous drum beads. Wait till I show you the strand of these drum beads. They are so pretty. And I've also got like little floral spaces with them as well. So I've measured these up in your kit. You should get a seven and a half inch bracelet, I would say, maybe eight. Um, and that's going to make, if I click in, it should say makes four bracelets so if you wanted to i mean i made a bracelet and i've made the earrings and you won't get your earring components in the kit but if you've got a ball pin a pair of ear wires then you can make little earrings too you could even make a necklace with this um really really pretty so your kit's going to give you your jump rings which is what we're going to attach our gorgeous little um clasp onto you're getting your crimp beads your collots your tiger tail or your beading thread whichever you call it i've got these gorgeous flower rondelle beads you're going to get some glass pearls in there which are six millimeters you're getting your crystal drum beads which are six by four and you're getting your toggle clasp so there's all sorts in there these are them they're really really sweet I would say I'm going to go out on a limb and I'm going to say it's probably the easiest bracelet or necklace you're going to make because it's just some very simple bead stringing. But I think having those gorgeous little crystal drum beads in there and those flower spaces, those little rondelles, just add that extra little bit of texture, lots of sparkle to your gorgeous jewellery makes today. If I scroll down, you can see the components here. So these are your antique gold beads in your little flower rondelles. I'll show you them down on the mat as well. You've got those gorgeous crystal drum beads. You get a full strand of these. And in between, you'll notice they've got little spaces on them. And I'm going to use them too, because why not? They're just equally as gorgeous. And that's going to add, again, a little bit more dimension. And you're getting your glass pearls with them as well. So this one is your antique gold. And then we've also got the champagne. Now, your champagne is with these gorgeous, very soft, pale pink beautiful little pearls you've got those gorgeous crystal drum beads which just kind of bring out that kind of warm tone in them but i've kind of contrast them with those gorgeous little silver um antique silver flower rondelles and your silver clasp on there as well so again scroll down if you want to have a little look at your components to find out exactly what color it is that you're getting in the pearls they are ecru um and they are 10.99 for four bracelets or a beautiful, beautiful necklace, whatever you fancy. You might even get a necklace and a bracelet out of it. I mean, you're going to get enough findings and you're going to get a, a full strand of your pearls and your crystals with the spaces as well. So you can add these however you want. I've gone for this little pattern with it. The green gold, I really actually love. I mean, usually green and gold is kind of Christmas or autumnal to me, but, you know, I could be thinking summer forest fairy with this as well because it's really, really pretty. So $10.99, that is your lovely Xena bracelet in the green and the gold. Again, if you need to, you can scroll down, have a little look. Oh, see, I was thinking right with the forest fairy because it's forest green I've chose with this. Really, really pretty. And I thought because I haven't done anything monochrome in a little while because I've been feeling my summer vibes, then I've gone for this Jack Grey as well, which is gorgeous. Not to say you can't wear monochrome jewellery in, you know, summer, but there you go. I've I thought I've not done one for a while. So these are really, really pretty. You've got those gorgeous Jack Black crystal drum beads. Again, they're six by four millimeters you've got your space gray beads and you've got those gorgeous flower rondelles as well so have a little look we've got two on the gold findings and we've got two on the uh, no we've got one on the silver this one here is um your jet colored like black plate findings very very pretty on your jet gray colorway so 10.99 for four bracelets in your kit let me see hopefully everything's going okay down on my camera i'm going to stop sharing 
and I'm going to have a little look just in case I've missed anything. Oh, we're all talking languages again, aren't we? I always, I always get us onto this conversation because I'm fascinated to know what everybody speaks. Um, Angela's being a silly billy. She's saying I speak double Dutch perfectly. Well, clever you. <laughs> um, Phoenix is giving me laughing faces. Lucy shared the link today. So if you couldn't find it like I couldn't at the beginning, click on totallyneeds.co.uk forward slash Facebook dash tutorials forward slash Tina bracelet. Um, yeah, Phoenix has said, Simon left the gremlins behind to keep the warehouse on their toes, I think. So thank you, Lucy. You're an absolute star for, for keeping everything running. Um, we would be lost without you, wouldn't we? Um, we missed you when you were away. I'm so glad you're back. Good morning to Joyce, who's watching from Macon in Georgia, US of A. How wonderful. Thanks for joining us. Um, <laughs> not reading that out Lucy um and don't start trying to get me to to pronounce things I know Camille tried to get me to say things last time in different languages and just butchered those languages um she says she can speak English Cantonese and a smidgen of Portuguese how lovely uh good morning to Janice in a sunny Swansea um Mina saying it's a bargain price it is when you see the amount of stuff you're getting in your kit today um <laughs> David says that's my fault. I bought one of the gold green and one of the Jeff Grey. Well, look at you, you've got in there quick. Um, oh, these are all chatting all these lovely languages and things that you can speak. I'm so so proud of you all and a little bit jealous. Um oh no. Phoenix has said the sound's dropping in and out a little bit. Is everyone all right? Can you hear me okay? Let me know. Um, champagne is my favourite, says Lucy. I thought it was. I'll demo with that one for you today, but then I might might make the gold green necklace up as well if we've got time at the end. We might not have time. Uh, good morning to Tutu. Janice has ordered two kits. She's got the grey and the champagne. How lovely. Thank you so much for buying them, Janice. Um, Lucy says the sound's okay. Good morning to Denise. Uh, Mina's asking, will one bag of silver flower rondelle be enough for four bracelets, please? Um, I've used one, two, three, four, five, six, seven in my one bracelet. Not sure how many you're getting in each one. I'll double check for you, Mina. Um, I mean, you can use them as sparingly as you want to. If it says it makes four bracelets, then you've got enough in however much your kits are. Um, Sue says, I'm trying to learn Italian on Duolingo. Oh, how fabulous. Can't really speak Kenny Italian. Ciao, bambino. We just say goodbye, baby. That's about it. <laughs> good morning, Julie. She says, good morning, Natalie and everybody. Um, oh, everyone's saying they can hear me. That's good. I'm not off talking, aren't I, this morning? I feel like I'm talking really fast as well. Um, maybe it's your ears. Maybe your ears can't keep up with me. <laughs> oh, thank you, Lucy. The green and the gold is back in stock. Um, DIY Dream Wedding said, I can't believe it's 10 a.m. already. Pizza says, Angela, yeah, I can say that and eat that. I'm having pizza for tea, I think, tonight. Anyway, let's get down on the mat. Let me show you while the camera's staying where it is. Um, what's going on there? <laughs> Oh, what a morning it's become. Right. I said while it's showing. It's showing on my map, but when I went to bring it up, it's not. Right, let's let's see. Could you all see my face there? <laughs> um, David says, I can speak with a Welsh accent. My Welsh is limited as well. Right, well there you go. I don't know whether that was Welsh. <laughs> bracelets look how pretty they are so this is your jet black one come on a little bit of focus there you go i'll move these out the way i've now got feedback i think have i can you hear me have i got a load of feedback on the mic what's going on today uh i know david he says your camera's got a mind of its own <sighs> where is my mind anyway there you go, there's your gorgeous little bracelet. So you can see we've got these lovely little flower spaces in the middle. I will show you one of those. Really cute, really tiny, gorgeous little pattern all around the side on the edges. We've got these beautiful little toggle clasps, which are like little ropes. 
we've got those gorgeous sparkly crystal drum beads in between and i'm using the spaces that come on them as well on that strand just to just to to just pretty it up even more i just love the different textures in this because you've got those gorgeous facets on those little drum beads you've got your beautiful round shape of those glass pearls it's a bit of everything this one is your champagne gold one look at the sparkle <laughs> Janice says, very pretty. Hello to Monica, how are you doing? Um, Camille says, usually in your head. My mind, oh, there's, yeah. <laughs> uh, thank you, DIY Dream Wedding. She says, they are so pretty and the picture's coming great. That's great. This is your pretty pink issue one. Well, they ecru those pearls. They're just the softest colour. So this one's your champagne, that one that I've just showed you there was your antique gold. So you can see the difference. This has got your gorgeous kind of, these drum beads are beautiful. They are gold. They're looking a little bit more silver there. They've got a bit of both on them. Really, really pretty. Obviously, you've got the gold spaces on that one, but with the champagne, you've got these gorgeous little champagne drum beads and I pop them with the silver. And then this is the one that's going to sneak off on my wrist today. As I say, I've done little earrings with them as well because you're just getting so much in your kit. And I thought they'd be rather pretty. But for four bracelets, if you don't want a bracelet, you could always make a necklace. You might get both. I'm going to show you the strand of these drum beads because... I mean, I've already been using these. They are incredibly long. You're getting loads. I've made already a rather large bracelet with this. Look at them. So not only are they really sparkly, hopefully my camera's picking up there and it's a little bit in focus, but you've also got those little kind of spaces, little seed beads in between. And I'm just like, I'm not wasting them. So I'm using them too. You could just have a bracelet with those as they are you could add your pearls in as well you could do whatever you want robin says oh the champagne is absolutely beautiful right i'm going to use a little bit of beading thread a bit of tiger tail and for seven and a half bracelets just a little bit over i'm gonna use 20 centimeters of tiger tail and that's about eight inches i know we've got lots of people in the us watching and some people working inches so Always just give me a nudge. If I'm saying centimetres and you want to know what that is converted into inches, just let me know and I will always do my best. So I've got a ruler there so I can always measure that out for you. Um, everybody's loving the champagne. It's gorgeous, isn't it? That's what I'm going to demo with today. So I know the pattern and the order in which I'm going to do this lovely bracelet because I've just come up with a little kind of pattern repeat running all the way along. So I'm going to start off with my um, findings, as in my crimp beads and clots. And I'm going to work from one end and go all the way across to the other till I've got the length that I want. Now, if you decide that actually you want to change up the pattern and you're not sure, you could always start from the middle and out. And if you're making a necklace, you can always start from the middle out as well. Um, Angela says she loves the black. It's very regal. It's a bit fancy, isn't it? They're just lovely. Right, I'm going to start with my collot and I'm threading through my beading thread just onto the end. So my collot's facing out at the end. Um, David says he prefers to work in inches. I think I do both. It does depend on what I'm measuring, really. Um, and if I'm doing something really long, I'll go in metres. So if I'm doing, um, like I've been working on some lovely... Um, macrame makes and um, i'm you know i've kind of worked out how many centimeters and how many inches of that but i just also just go it's one long arm span or it's two long arm spans um so yeah they must love me at the warehouse because i'm always swapping and changing what it is that i need okay so i pop two crimp beads on because we like to double crimp just is it frozen Oh, I'm not being funny, but what's going on with my camera? 
What's going on with my phone? Your hands are frozen, not sure if it's just me. No, it's absolutely not just you, Lucy. Oh, what's going on? What is going on? I'm so sorry. It's just been one of those days. Oh, hey. Hey, up. Come on, camera. Let's play ball. I'm so sorry about this, people. I'm definitely not going to have time to make a necklace, am I, at this rate? You're not even going to get to see the bracelet. Why is that so fuzzy? Right, do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going out. I'm going to come back in again. I do apologise for this, everybody. Oh, right. I don't know why it's happening. Are we all all right? Can <laughs> you speak talking languages Why I get this going again? Right. I have rejoined the feed. Let's see. I mean, it's feeling a little warm. It's not overly warm. One of those days. <laughs> I wish I was a robot, Lucy. Then things would probably a little bit more organised. Right. Drag to move. Just give us a bit of focus. There's such a delay. And that is just ridiculously fuzzy. What's going on? I've got a whole lot of people as well in at the minute watching, thinking, what's happening? <laughs> what are we doing? Does this look as fuzzy to you as it does to me? Can you even... There's no point, is there? <laughs> Angela says, that's why we love Totally Beach. You're all human. I don't know what has happened because we were fine. Right. And do you know what? I'm just going to completely come out of this. I'm going to see if I can go into was user chrome i'm going to use firefox and see if that makes any any bit of difference <sighs> um it's just taking a little while talk amongst yourselves <laughs> right let's try this one This may be looking a little better, she says. I'm so sorry. Oh, it's just as well it's a quick make today, isn't it? Black. Black screen. It could be that. It was working before, though. Ah, okay. Let's try this. So if I turn this way, if I go down that way pop this on there right take six is that any better that's looking clear is that okay just show us with your hands i don't get like this right okay there may be a slight delay let's go i've got my little um clot on oh. where have you gone <laughs> Lucy says, yeah, it looks good. Everyone goes, yay, and then it's gone again, hasn't it? Uh, join stream. I'm giving up. <laughs> Camille saying it might have to disappear soon. I'm so sorry, right, take seven. <laughs> oh my Lord above, right, I'm gonna line this up properly because the last thing, thing we, we want, want I can hear feedback. Everyone else wants to hear feedback. Uh, the last thing we want is for me to uh, mess up the actual bracelet. Close your clot over. That's not lined up properly. If it's not lined up properly, slide it off. Do it again. <laughs> is everyone okay? Can you all see me okay? Can you hear me okay? 
Oh, do you know what? I don't know what to do. It just keeps timing out. Why? Why? <laughs> Oh, this is going to be the worst live ever. I am so sorry, everybody. Right, I'm going to have to do this as quick as possible. And you'll stop laughing at me. Oh, I'll probably end up with a computer update in a minute. Right, what's happened? There's been absolutely no change. Laura was on on Wednesday, and that was okay. And then now what's happening? Right, I'm closing that clot over. Oh, I'm going to have to try and make this as quick as possible before this goes off, can't I? Mina's laughing at me. Stop laughing at me, everybody. <laughs> Text great when it works. You're not wrong. Right, I've popped my calotte onto my tiger tail. I'm just going to do some easy bead stringing. I'm going to see if I can do this in like 10 minutes before the camera goes off. I'm going with the pearl first. I'm going to close that calotte over a little bit better because I haven't done so. We want that closed fully. So I'm going with the pearl. Then I'm gonna add one of my gorgeous little flower spaces. And then I'm putting on another pearl. Really easy bead string in Kim K, thank you. Pauline, thank you. Oh, thank you so much for being so patient with me. I'm so sorry. You know, technology, as you say, it's great when it works, isn't it? And then using my gorgeous crystal drum bead, and I'm gonna pop on that spacer that comes on the thread with it, because they're just lovely. And then popping on another little drum bead. Then I'm going back with that full pattern. So we're doing pearl, pretty little flower spacer, pearl, crystal drum bead, Tiny little seed bead spacer, crystal drum bead, and then repeating the pattern again. Pearl, beautiful little flower spacer, pearl, crystal drum bead, spacer, crystal drum bead. Now you can use whatever pattern you want, but I just wanted to include as much lovely things in your kit as possible. I wanted to put in all the sparkle, all the shape, all the texture. And I think these little spaces work really nice just in between those little pearls. <laughs> Angela says, totally beads should do a series of bloopers that would brighten any day. I know Angela, but it would just all be me because it never goes wrong for anybody. We might have a few minutes of Kitty just talking with on mute because I know that's happened to her a couple of times and uh, that's quite funny she's probably talking saying hello to everyone and chatting about the weather um I know the sound went off for Paul Laura the other day didn't she do an absolutely amazing job um but yeah it would all be me it'd be me cutting the wrong wire it'd be necklaces falling apart when I've not crimped things properly all I can say is I'm just really glad that this is a very simple, straightforward make. Because if I've got something a little bit more technical, then, you know, we'd be running out of time. Okay, so I'm just continuing with that repeated pattern. And it's really straightforward to do. And you've just got the most lovely components. So pearl. little drum bead sorry little flower spacer pearl little drum bead tiny little spacer crystal drum bead and i'm going to finish as i started so pearl spacer pearl <laughs> camille saying pearl one knit one <laughs> really easy repetition you can do whatever you want you can make whatever pattern you want with these gorgeous little components and i think they would make a beautiful necklace as well it's just something so soft about these colors and just really quite regal uh, thank you lucy for sharing the link 
Um, it's totallybeads.co.uk, Facebook tutorials, Xena bracelet today. But your kits are making four. So don't forget, if you want to, you could probably make a necklace instead. So far at the moment, because I've only got little wrists, this is coming up at about six and a half inches for those who like this centimetres. It's about 16 centimetres. But bear in mind, we've still got to put our another little clot on the end and our gorgeous little toggle clasp as well. So that's going to give me that little bit more. DIY Dream Wedding says these are so beautiful. Um, oh, Rachel's just got a new craft like delivered after the last one broke. I mean... So far, so good. This is staying up, isn't it? So I think I'm just going to stay with this bead next week. I only swapped. I used to use this one originally, but it got a little bit fuzzy. Um, and I found the picture was clearer on the other. But if it just keeps booting me off, then I might just stick with this. So I'm putting my collot on when I finish that pattern that I want. And I am going to shape it a little bit into like a little curve shape just to make sure I've got my tension where I want it when I start to put this crimp bead, these crimp beads on because that will make sure my tension's nice. So I want it kind of them all flush, pushed together, um, no gaps and no big spaces in between. Oh, Mina says, I've sorted my beads and kits last night and I got too many kits not made. Well, label them, Mina, so you know what they are. Jana says, absolutely beautiful. Thank you so much. So I'm popping on my first crimp bead and I'm going to drop it right down towards that clot. I'm going to come in with a pair of pliers or a crimping tool and I'm going to just push that nice and flat. So if there's a delay, oh, there you go. Hello. If you can see, just hiding in there really close up to my clot there and nice and flat i'm then going to add my other crimp bead on and i'm going to drop that right on top of the last one and push that flat too and then with any extra tiger tail that i've got i'm just going to trim that off so i started with about 20 centimeters of the tiger tail which was about eight inches and that's going to be enough for me to add this amount sorry need to be in shot this amount on to um my bracelet but again you're getting loads in your kit you're getting a full strand of those pearls you're also getting these gorgeous massive you could skip with these they're that long and as i say i've already used some of those as well so you can make um a longer bracelet if you wish to um you're going to have enough to make at least four bracelets of this size so i'm now closing over the clot again don't know why these aren't folding quite right in the middle here i want to make sure that those little holes at the end line up nicely so i'm just going to open it out a little bit and just kind of guide it with my fingers into position Could do with being a little bit more lined up there. I wonder if I picked up the dodgy one I took off to begin with. I'm not going to keep reopening it because I will eventually just weaken that as long as I can get the jump ring through. So I'm going to open up my jump ring. I'm using the six miller out six millimeter outer diameter jump rings, and I'm just going to try and get that through both of those little holes in the collot. Can always close that over again if they've moved apart slightly. And then I'm gonna close that over after I've added on my toggle clasp. So you're gonna get your O, your ogle, and your tog. So your toggle. You've got that lovely little bar and your little loop. And they are really, really pretty. They like ropes, they're just delicate and really sweet looking <laughs> camille said see you can do it in less than five minutes well done i was speeding through just in case i'm going to add one end on and close my jump ring over 
just going to give that a little close together again just because they've separated a little bit and then do the same on the other side so i'm going to take my jump ring going to hold as much surface area of my jump ring as possible give it a little turn towards me slide that through the holes in the culotte with the other end of my toggle And I'm going to close that over. And now I've got a beautiful bracelet ready to wear. So I'm just going to hold one end of my clasp to pull that through. And I've got a very pretty little bracelet really quick make really really lovely um thank you dream weddings has given me a round of applause i'm not gonna have time i don't think now to well I could make a necklace uh yeah camille says no need for hair grip see that it is a really straightforward make but again i think when you've got products like this you know you don't have to do anything complicated and fancy with it they're just the most beautiful colors i think these little flowered spaces just look gorgeous with the toggles as well because they've got that kind of similar kind of pattern around the edge um <laughs> diy dream wedding says now you can get the real champagne out i think i'll just settle for coffee today <laughs> This one is your gorgeous Xena bracelet in the antique gold. And of course, you've got that beautiful jet one as well. Now, as I say, you're getting enough to make four bracelets in your kit. So what you could do is you could make a necklace with them. And that would be absolutely beautiful. You could string it all the way along. You could have a little toggle at the back and you could make a beautiful necklace like so or you could even make a pair of earrings if you've got some extra findings in your kit let's make let's make a little pair of earrings i'll use the same color so i'm gonna get my gorgeous crystal drum beads out I'm going to get these beautiful pearls, which are a crew. So you can see they've got like a really soft kind of, I don't know how to describe this colour. They're not peach. They're not quite pink. And they're not quite brown. But they're just really, really gorgeous. Angela says a nice set of earrings, a necklace and a bracelet. I think you'd probably get them all. I mean, if you felt like, you know, you weren't getting enough after you'd made your bracelet to make a full necklace, you could always change the clasp on the back and use an extender chain. You could maybe just use a section in the middle and maybe use your pearls a little bit less sparingly and run these up the side instead. You will get enough to make a necklace, I think, and a bracelet, but you might just need to, to change the repetition of how you use them. Um, so in the, they are like, well, yeah, they are a champagne kind of colour, I would say, Carol, you're quite right, that these are definitely champagne. Um, yeah, maybe these are, they're called a crew, I think. I don't know how you pronounce it. So I'm going to make a little pair of earrings as well using the same components. So I've got my gorgeous little um, spacers. If I can show you these, I'll show you them in the silver and the gold. So, sorry, after moving my camera, I'm never in shot, am I? If you can see, they've got this lovely little detail running around the edge of them. So you're going to get those in the silver or depending on what colour of the kit you've got, you could get them in the gold instead. They're just beautiful. The gold would look lovely with this as well. So if you wanted to mix up your colours, if you wanted to use the gold with the champagne, you most definitely could. 
that just brings out kind of a warmer tone with it. Hello, Celia. She says, good morning from Bolton. So I'm going to take a little pair of ball pins, which are just in my stash. You're not getting these in your kit, but I'm sure loads of you have got all sorts. I don't even know if I've got them to hand. Have I got ear wires? I'd say so. So I'm just going to play about with what I want to pop in terms of the order on my um, earrings. So here I've used one of the little kind of seed beads that you get on the drum beads um, strand at the bottom. Then I've done a pearl. Then I've popped that spacer in between the drum beads this time and use a pearl. But you could again use the same pattern here if you wanted to. I do think it's quite nice if I show you, get that earring back in my ear. No, it's not playing, okay. If I show you on the strand, the very, very long strand, you'll get these little seed beads in between those lovely crystal drum beads. And they just make a nice stopping kind of finishing point on your ball pins as well if you're making if you decide you want to make earrings with them. So I'm going to go for one of those. Then I'm going to add a pearl on. Then I'm going to use one of my gorgeous crystal drum beads. I'm then going to get a beautiful spacer. I'm then going to sandwich that in between another crystal drum bead and then kind of mirror that pattern in the opposite direction with another pearl and then one of these other little seed beads that you get there so this is going to be my e-ring and then going to give it a little bend to 90 degrees you could do a wrap loop with this if you wanted to or you could just turn a little loop I haven't got my round nose pliers to hand. Yes, I have. So I'm going to give it a little trim, leaving about a centimetre, holding that bit in between my fingers so it doesn't fly away. And then I'm going to come in with my round nose pliers, making sure that's held into position so it's not going to slide up. And I'm going to just turn that pin all the way round so I've got a little loop sitting neatly on the top and then I'm going to find an e-ring hook it's just as well I'm fairly organized today isn't it and I've got these to hand now I'm just going to give it a little flip up slide it on and close it over really straightforward and a lovely little earring to match my bracelet. I think I might as well make the matching one in the other on the other ear, might not I? Again, you can you can play about with what order you want to put these on. So I'm going to use one of the little seed beads first, which comes off my drum bead strand. I'm going to add a pearl, and then going to add one of my gorgeous drum beads on. Another little spacer drum bead and another pearl so you could in essence have a whole suite of jewelry here with everything you're getting in your kit finishing off with one of those little seed beads i want to bend really closely when i bend to a 90 degree angle so that they're all kind of nice and close together morning jackie and then going to come in again and just trim off, leaving about a centimetre, holding that in place, give it a little twist to rotate my little loop on the top, check my loop straight if it's not, so here it's sitting more like a P than an I, just going to pop my pliers back in my round nose, give it a little knot, to straighten up. That's better. And then find myself another ear wire. I 
open that up and slide it on. Lucy says, I love that there's enough to make a full set. Well, you know, if you're gifting or selling your jewellery, then you want four bracelets, don't you, out of a kit. If you're not, then you kind of want to make yourself a, a sweeter jewellery rather than having the same four bracelets. However, you could layer these up and they would look very pretty. Uh, thank you, Angela. You are most welcome. <laughs> DIY Dream Wedding says, now for the necklace, you're doing great. A bracelet and earrings in no time at all. We've still got 10 minutes, so technically we, we probably could, but it will be the same thing over and over again. And um really need to go and just do some meditation, I think. <laughs> Might go back to bed. So these are the earrings that I've just made. As you'll see, you can make a bracelet in five minutes. You can make earrings in less than five minutes. So you're going to have some apps. Actually, I quite like this colour. I was, I was wearing these today. I wore this dress just to show off the little green ones and the matching bracelet. But they're really cute. Um... Thank you so much for joining me today. Thank you so much for being patient. I do apologise for for all the things that went array, but you know, Natalie's bloopers again, isn't it? The Xena bracelets today are ten pounds and ninety nine pence. I'll take you very quickly back over to the website if it lets me, um, just to show you those. So ten pounds and ninety nine for four beautiful bracelets. You've got the antique gold, the champagne the green gold, and you've got a jet grey as well. We're using beautiful little crystal drum beads, gorgeous glass pearls, and lovely little spaces too. We've got gorgeous toggle clasps on them, so you can choose if you want them in gold or you'd like them in silver. I mean, I think you could mix them colours up as well if you wanted to treat yourself to two kits. $10.99 for four bracelets or a full suite of jewellery is a, a bit of a bargain so that is our Xena bracelet today for you what is going on that i don't want to oh god getting loads of messages <laughs> right pauline says thank you natalie you are most welcome um thank you for being so patient with me you're all being really really kind i really appreciate that Pauline says thank you. Rachel says thank you. Kim K says thank you. Um, Sue says well done for sticking with it. There was a time there, Sue, that I just thought I'm going to have to just, just go. Just love you and leave you. Um, DIY Dream Wedding says beautiful. Thank you. Um, Camille's loving the bloopers. I hope you have a really lovely, lovely weekend. Um, do you know what? because you've been so patient sticking it out with me for the people that haven't already gone i'll show you a sneak peek of mondays if you like so monday i'm going to be making some lovely bracelets if everything plays ball um i'm using these gorgeous crackled earth beads i just love them right down on the map day quick look at these they are the most beautiful, beautiful beads. Again, I'm using those same clasps because they're just so sweet. So we've got a lovely little toggle. We've got a beautiful blue. We've got the pink. Lucy's saying, oh, I love a sneak peek. Aren't you glad you stayed around for that? <laughs> and we've also got this gorgeous green as well. They are just so beautiful. And again, a really easy make to do. So please, please, if you've not had enough of me today, come back and join me on Monday. Um, Monday, yeah, it's Monday. <laughs> Hopefully the computer will have had a rest. Hopefully I'll be feeling a lot calmer. I think maybe it was the energy I was putting out, wasn't it? Um, Lucy says she loves that pink one. So they're going to be, I think, a real bargain. They're going to be really easy to make, and I will talk you through that. Thank you so much for being with me. Um, I hope you have a lovely weekend, and I will